Well, here at Rimwood Farms, you know, we're located on the banks of the James River. This past year in 2015, we've achieved our highest farm average since we were producing over 500 acres of corn. For years and years, we've been trying to push their yields up. I remember when my granddad first got into the 100 bushels, I heard him talk about breaking 100 bushels of corn. And in the last three years, air yields have gone up dramatically. And I like to take credit for it. Sometimes it's the environment that's contributed, but we've addressed a lot of the shortcomings that, that we could control. And the things that I think most growers need to focus on, one is even emergence. We started using some Invigorate product from Genesis Ag, and boy, we saw great benefits to that. Just even emergence, as well as better plant health and root development from the time the corn emerges. And even in the, in the stressed conditions that we oftentimes run into, we just see a better crop starting. Two is plant health. We're big into plant health, and some of our plants are just as green as if they were in July and we're picking 17, 22% moisture corn. That's just unheard of. We've been pulling tissue samples on a weekly basis and we have identified some micronutrient challenges that we've had over time. And the micro boom that they offer um, has been, it's a packaged product for us and it mixes well and it has been beneficial to all their crops, not just their corn, but their soy, as well as their uh, wheat, barley, and oat crops. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, it's neat to go out there and pick corn that's green and you have a lot of bushels coming in and you know you've done things right. Yeah, th those are those exciting moments when you just see that return and it's like, it's like an aha moment. Wow, that did work. So now let's just put on more acres and share, share the news with other folks and see if they can duplicate that. As growers start to push yields and then they're starting to look at plant health, and then they also look at soil health, uh, one thing they need to look at is a product called Revita N. You know, me being a producer, I'm very tight with a dollar, just like we all should be. And the Revita N, you know, offers a lot of benefits to your soil. I think there are areas that we can probably do better. And again, putting the right product in the right acre, uh, I think that's been important. Now that we're starting to incorporate some of these other products like the Revita and Terra, Revita N, when we start adding those, then we're seeing more organisms, you know, seeing mushrooms out in the soil. Uh, we're, and here we're putting on a fungicide and we're still seeing some of these mushrooms out there. And then just the root system, the root hairs and how the roots are moving through the soil. And um, I think all that is all coming together and the tilt in our soil is just unbelievable. Soil scientists come out here and you know they probe soil. It's like, wow, th this has changed. We have better water holding capacity that we see. And when we get into stress periods, the plant seems to combat that very well. I've heard other people say the best thing you can see in your field is your shadow. Because that means you're out there trying to do something and you're trying to fix whatever problems you do have. <laughs>